Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Malone and this is TCM. We're still celebrating 31 days of Oscar tonight by watching a series of Academy Award nominated and winning films set in prisons. Our next film takes us back to 1930 with a powerful and influential drama that was nominated for four Oscars and won two. It's The Big House, directed by George W. Hill. One of those Oscar wins was for its screenplay written by Francis Marion. For research, MGM arranged for Marion to visit San Quentin Prison, where she wrote copious notes about her observations and the conversations she had with prison inmates, guards and officials. MGM then created a massive set to replicate San Quentin, housing this story about a group of inmates. There's the dangerous criminal Butch, played by Wallace Beery, and his cellmate and friend, the petty thief Morgan, played by Chester Morris, plus a new prisoner jailed for manslaughter while drunk driving, Kent, played by Robert Montgomery. And Lewis Stone is also featured as the warden. Originally, the role of Butch was set for Lon Chaney, but sadly he died before production could begin. Wallace Beery had just signed with MGM after his Paramount contract had been cancelled and was reportedly eating spaghetti in the MGM commissary when he was spotted by Francis Marion. As Machine Gun Butch, Beery created a truly menacing character and was nominated for his first Oscar as Best Actor. Incidentally, he'd go on to win a Best Actor Oscar not long after this for another Francis Marion script, The Champ, from 1931. But now, also the Oscar winner for Best Sound for Douglas Shearer, brother of Norma Shearer, from 1930, let's go and visit The Big House. The Big House remains an inspiration for the many prison dramas that have followed it, and when it was released, its merits were acknowledged, being nominated for four Oscars for Best Picture, Best Actor for Wallace Beery, Best Sound, and Best Writing for Francis Marion. The Big House won those last two Oscars for Sound and Writing, and this was Francis Marion's first Oscar win. She'd go on to win a second Oscar not long after this for The Champ from 1931, which made her the first writer to ever win two Academy Awards. Douglas Shearer, who took home the Best Sound Oscar for The Big House, was the brother of actress Norma Shearer, and this was also his first Oscar win. He'd go on to win many more competitive Oscars, plus technical achievement awards and scientific awards for his pioneering work in sound, because he was instrumental in the innovation of early sound technology for films. Shearer continued working at MGM for four decades, becoming the head of the studio's sound recording department and oversaw, or was directly involved in, the sound for films as varied as The Wizard of Oz and 30 Seconds Over Tokyo. Alrighty, let's take a break and then watch A Prison Break. Our next film on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar follows a criminal who breaks out of the notorious Devil's Island prison. It's from 1973 and stars Steve McQueen with Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> 